promised I would wait for you But I'm getting so impatient Tell me that you're ready now This room is big enough for two And I wanna do that something Something that will blow your mind Do you know the things you do to me? So, uh, left London last night, um, half past six, and got to Dolby Forest, which is where I am now. It was um, about a six hour drive. Um, and just got gone out for a stroll around the forest this morning. So, uh, I'll include a little bit of the footage from that. Um, currently with uh, James and uh, Graham. Um, that's the man. Yeah, I've got um, another week off work. Uh, me and Graham's going to do a bit of a. Um, a Viking trail up to the north to uh, Lindisfarne, Holy Island. So, uh, I'll take you along on the ride. Some of the streams in the moss look almost Jurassic. A really nice little walk. I think I needed it really, clear my head. Have a think. Yeah, I just dropped it, I noticed that. How about one of them? The benders is your fucking. Yeah, they're breaking. Fucking rubbish. I've got a good one now, and I never do one. I think I broke the end on that, to be fair. I haven't seen that for ages. What's that? My self-esteem. I know, I keep losing them as well. This is the third one. Oh, bad. Oh, I think it's on my, uh, I'll tell you why, I think it's on one of the cameras. I think it's on the window. Now. Yeah, it's a real weird walk this down here. It's a really weird walk. I don't want to do it in the middle of the fucking night. Let me take you Some of the trail along here is pretty muddy and wet, so um, if you've got decent walking boots or something like that, you'd probably be better off to wear them rather than trainers. My feet got soaked. Back to its natural habitat. If I'll kill in fucking bias and you, this is what it'll be like after a few years walking down like main roads. Nature will have took it back. Like, Chernobyl. Probably be better off. Well, things are fucked up at the moment. Graham, we can't get lost here. So, uh, where is the van, guys? It's over there. Over there, over there somewhere. <laughs> over there. Yeah. So, I no, think it's. it's... Over there. Yeah. Graham knows the way. Yeah. Should have been lost in here before. Yeah, and um, you can't get lost in here, is that right? Well, I've um, never been there. I've never been lost. What happened the last time you were here, Grace? <laughs> no, all jokes aside, we're not even sure where we put our vans now. I do know where my van is. You don't know where your van is. You know about as much about the van as I do, which I think it's up here, I don't know. But still in the Well, he just wants to follow sheep. 1.6 miles away from my van. 
Oh, it's a grill fly. Oh, have you got have you got your maps working? Have you got your maps working? Yeah. No, you ain't even got your phone out, you lying little shit. Look, you ain't even got his phone out. Yeah. I don't need service, uh, Matt. We're coming up this road here. The van's over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, where that point is, because that's the what three words number. Good man. So we're walking up this road, and then we can cut through the forest somehow. I know so where someone, we are. Someone's got an idea of where we are. So yeah, we've just done a weekend here. Um, heading north, north again now. Yeah, back to Ed North, um, towards Linda's farm, over the island, and uh, see what else we find on our travels. We've had a couple of, uh, couple of uh, different adventures here that you can see. Um, James got stuck, didn't really film it actually, we were just trying to get out. So, um, seven o'clock in the morning, someone decides to come along this lane. I'll show you where we are. It's been a camp. Oh, here's the police. The police have just turned up. So, um, seven o'clock in the morning, someone comes along the lane and starts banging on our vans. Why? I don't know. Um, but he got a punch in the head. He won't be doing that again. Let's see where the police have gone. Okay, yeah. I'm going to jail! I'm going to get the bacon out and give it to Graham. And I'll recall what the police say. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, please. Bacon's here, mate. Let's turn that down. Oh, you got the bacon? Yeah. I'll get it on. Fucking old bills here. I know, yeah. Sorry. Don't even matter, does it? Fuck it. So yeah, um, got the police outside now, and uh, this is all a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> he ain't got out, has he? No, he ain't got out. He's sitting in his car. There's another. There's two of them. Two two police cars. Is he? Yeah, there's two. They're, they're gonna nick me, ain't they? They're gonna arrest me. I doubt it. Nah. Well, we'll see. Do you need eggs or anything? No. We'll see what happens. We'll see. So the police decide um, I wasn't worth the effort and leave me be. And we made ourselves to the next camping spot, which is this place just here. Across the causeway, uh, you do need to check the times and need tide tables. Um, it's only open for a certain amount of time. You can't stay on the island itself overnight, um, and there is a parking fee when you do get on the island, which I think it's uh, £4.50 for two hours and £7.50. It says all or 24 hours, but if you can't stay on the island, it makes no sense giving you a 24-hour parking ticket 
when you can't stay on the island overnight. Um, so bear that in mind, you've got to be off before the tide. I've had this uh, trip planned for quite a while now, um, probably the, about a year ago planned this trip. So uh, that's where we are, if I don't cock up my camera. It's the old monastery at Lindisfarne. Uh, the idea came to me to come here um, after watching the, the Viking series. So yeah, this is um, St Cuthbert's Church, or was, and uh, it was the one of the first buildings attacked and raided by the Vikings in 793 AD. And in, what was it, 793 AD, the Vikings would have come up here, kicked in the door of the monastery there, and killed everyone. So the church itself, uh, St Cuthbert's, uh, belongs to uh, natural national heritage or British heritage um, and there is a fee to go inside which is um, almost £15 per person. Um, there was no way we were going to pay that extortionate amount of money just to go in and see grass on the floor of a church. So uh, we gave that a miss. There are a few other sites to see on the island, um, one of them being the kilns which are not related to the Vikings or the monastery. They were built much later, I think in 18 something. Um, I'm not quite sure on the date. Um, you'll see we go inside these and have a quick look round. Um, as I say, they're not related to the Vikings or anything else. Um, there's also a castle on the island, which is private property. It's been bought by some millionaire as a holiday home. Um, I don't know if there is access to that. Um, we didn't go and have a look. Morning guys, just thought I'd take you for a walk to the beach. I woke up this morning, watched the sunrise, and uh, just thinking about life really, um, my life, where it's going, what I'm doing, and uh, a little bit sort of, um, I don't know, um, confused. Um, see, it looks like everything is perfect, but at the end of the week, um, hold on. Go on. This is where we are, by the way. Um, where are we? I don't even know myself. Um, there you go. Got that. Yeah, that's probably a better sign for you. We're staying here. Yeah, so um, I've woke up thinking, what am I supposed to do? I'm working in London, um, spend pretty much every weekend driving out of London, and I've, I've done that for the last three years now. Um, a couple of times I've stayed in London because I've had to, I've had things on. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't really, um, I don't really put out much personal stuff, really. It's always been about travel. Um, but I just thought I would share a little bit of what I'm thinking, what I'm going through in my life. Um, because after all, it's meant to be a video vlog, isn't it? So, uh, If you want to hear this sort of stuff, leave a comment 
and uh, I'll carry on with it if you think it's all shite and you don't want to hear it. <laughs> Put a note in the comments. So yeah, what's, what's happened since the last time I spoke to you? Uh, been a while. Um, I've still been out and about, been up to the peaks a few times, um, been down to Stonehenge a few times. Um, a couple of friends have got stuck in the mud. Uh, maybe I'll put a bit of footage in of that. Um, I've met somebody, um, a lady friend. Um, I might want to tell you about that if you'd like to hear that. Um, and uh, yeah, at the moment I'm wandering along the beach. Let's see. Thinking, where do I go from here? What do I do? Um, but like most people, um, I've got the choice of either having time on my hands and no money, or money in my pocket and no time to travel. And that is doing my head in. Um, I don't want to be in London. I want to be in another part of the country. Um, so, I've got to try and think how I work that out and uh, what I want in my life, what's important to me, maybe who's important to me. So, uh, I don't know. That's what's going on in my head at the moment. It's, it's probably a good trip this one because it's a uh, Give me some time away with me mates. Um, think about things. Stick you down here. And I'll sit on the floor with you. Um, yeah, so if, if you'd like to hear more about what it's like living in London um, in a van, then uh, again, put something in the comments below and I could do something on that. Um, everyone seems to be keen on park up videos. Um, and all we really do is just drive about and find somewhere to park. There's nothing to it. Um, some areas can be a little bit difficult. Um, around these areas it has been a little bit difficult, uh, Northumberland. But, uh, I mean, you've seen where we're parked, we're pretty close to the beach, it's not, uh, not impossible. Um, now I'm just waffling. I've got into a relationship which is, I don't know, six hour drive away um, from where I work. In reality, because I'm in the van, I could live anywhere in the country. And what is what is difficult for me right now is I want to be closer from, to this person. Maybe I should say her name. Sue. I was, I was sidetracking from meeting Sue. Somebody I didn't expect to meet. Yeah, and I just... Uh, my old feelings right now is I don't want to be in London working. I'd rather be further north. Uh, maybe everything will sort itself out at some point. I'm hoping so. Let me take you for another walk along the beach.
because as I say, I wasn't intending to be so personal in this video or in any of my videos. Um, if it's just waffling crap, then tell me. Get rid of, get, I'll get rid of it, I'll change the subject. I'll go back to bushcraft or vans and traveling, whatever. But yeah, the sun is out, as you can see. It's a fantastic day. Um, and there will be a lot more places I'll be going throughout this summer. Um, I've got some ideas, maybe something in Europe now, now that the COVID shit has all gone. Um, depending on um, how, how I use up my holiday. I only get six weeks a year and uh, I have to decide on how I'm going to use those. And uh, with someone living or with your partner being six hour drive away, um, weekend visits is going to be tough. Um, and I'm not sure how, how I deal with that. Again, if you're used to long distance relationships, and you can give me any advice put it in the description below um, because it's not really that easy doing a six hour drive it's, it's not even the driving to be honest it's not even the cost of the drive um, it's mainly going to be the mileage on the van um, maybe I'll find a way around that I hope I do having never been to the Yorkshire Moors before um, I didn't know really what to expect, but some of the scenery and some of the park ups we found here were absolutely stunning. Um, this is just one of them that me, Ian, Sue and Graham uh, found. Um, we got a visit whilst parked up here from one of the Waldens and he was quite polite and said he didn't mind us parking there. His only concern was that we'd have a barbecue or an open fire and the area itself is quite flammable, um, the bush and the, the grasses. So um, he just was more concerned that the, we'd be having an open fire or barbecue. So if you do go up onto the moors, um, whatever you do, don't open, don't have an open fire, don't have a barbecue, um, find out for some other way. in the area we visited the Druids Temple, um, an intriguing and atmospheric place. Um, it was built to alleviate local unemployment um, by William Danby, a wealthy landowner. Um, it's about 200 years old. Some beautiful surrounding woods, so uh, yes, worth a visit. So, we had another week out. Um, 
around Yorkshire. Um, you'll see in a minute. Just me and Graham left now. Uh, Sue's gone home. Uh, Ian's gone off home. And uh, I'm about to leave tonight to go back to London. Um, probably one of the worst parts of a trip like this is uh, when everyone separates and goes their own separate ways. 